Hey Horror Hounds, I'm your host, Vanilla Gorilla Beast. Hope that all you guys' holidays were great and pleasantful, and I hope that we all have a fucking great year this year. And now with all that out of the way, on with what you're watching this video for. This is my horror movie collection haul for the month of December, so let's get this update rolling, and on with the first thing, Blu-rays. First up for the Blu-rays is Insidious Chapter 2. I thought it was pretty entertaining. I like the backstory. Next up is The Conjuring. Very cool movie. Definitely one of the best movies of 2013, if not the best. If you haven't seen this one, this is definitely highly recommended. Next up is Sinister. It's decent. Definitely worth giving a watch. The guy who plays the monster in this one, I believe he's going to be at Texas Frightmare Weekend this year coming up. So that's Sinister. Now I have Pacific Rim. I really dug this one. It was action packed all the way through. Real colorful. Monsters look really fucking sweet. It's like watching Voltron come to life, man. It was a really cool fucking film. Some of you may not dig this, but I really dug it. Brought back childhood memories. Now I have Prometheus. Finishes up my Aliens collection on Blu-ray. Now I have all Aliens on Blu-ray. Pretty cool. Now I have Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Really cool installment in the Planet of the Apes series. Very cool movie. Definitely check this one out if you're into the Planet of the Apes series. Now I have the House of Wax remake. This is definitely one of my favorite remakes. It's definitely worth a watch just to see Paris Hilton get killed. So that's House of Wax. Jack the Giant Slayer. Can't wait to give this one a watch. Pick this up during Black Friday at Walmart. Don't know much about it. Previews made it look pretty cool. Jack the Giant Slayer. Finally picked up the original Omen. Don't want to go into too much detail because I'm pretty sure most of you know about the Omen. I'm just glad to finally get it on Blu-ray. Now I have The Devil's Rejects. This is definitely one of Rob Zombie's best movies out there. Stephen King's The Mist. This comes with two versions, a color version and a black and white version. So I can't wait to give this one another watch. I'm going to definitely watch it in black and white. It's pretty cool how they did that, both versions. So that's The Mist. Now I have Stephen King's 1408. Didn't like this the first time I watched it. Started watching this in the theater when it first came out. Fell asleep. Bored as fuck. When it came out on DVD, I gave it another watch. Liked it. So I had to get it on Blu-ray. Now I have Visible Scars. I haven't seen this one. It was real cheap at Fry's. I believe it's $3. So that's Visible Scars. Finally picked up the Dawn of the Dead remake. Not really a huge fan of this one. I still prefer the original. Yes, this was more believable. Definitely more faster paced. But the girl just got on my nerves in this movie. There's a few other things, but I'm, I'm glad to finally have it in my collection at least. So that's Dawn of the Dead. Next up is Dark Shadows. I really enjoyed this one. Really good horror comedy. Johnny Depp was pretty badass in this one. Next up is Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Wasn't really a fan of this. The previews made it look awesome. I actually preferred the Asylum's Abraham Lincoln vs. the Zombies or whatever that one's called. This is another one of those movies I picked up at Fry's for $3 as well. This is Crush. Never seen it. Look cool. Cheap. Just picked it up. So that's Crush. Next up is One Miss Call. This is a remake of an Asian movie. This is one of the better Asian remakes out there, I think. I liked One Miss Call. It's pretty cool. I dug it. So that's One Miss Call. Next up is Tormented 3D. Haven't seen this one as well. Looks like some kind of Asian movie. Look cool. Three dollars at fries. What the fuck? No Drivers the same way. Never seen it. Three dollars at fries. Look cool. It's an Asian film. Like Tokyo Gore Police. Thought, what the fuck? Three dollars. Splintered. Never seen this one. Look cool. Three dollars. So that's splintered. Now on to the last individual Blu-ray. Masters of Horror Season 1, Volume 4. This is only a dollar at fries. I'm just missing Volume 2 now, so... Oh yeah. On to the DVDs. First up for the DVDs is The Forced. Can't wait to give this one a watch. Heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one. Heard some good, heard some bad. But it's a slasher that I had to add to my collection. So that's The Forced. Next up is All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. Very cool modern slasher. This sucks that it took years for it to finally come out in the US. I'd highly recommend this one. Cold Prey. Haven't finished watching all of this one. Very cool what I've seen of it. Just been busy because of the holidays. Haven't had time to really watch a lot of these. But what I've seen of Cold Prey is really cool. Glad to finally have it in my collection. Next up is Shiver, starring Daniel Harris. 
and John Gerard. I believe that's the guy from Wolf Creek. This is his first American film, I think. Definitely had to pick it up because of Daniel Harris. It's silent but deadly. Sounds really cool. A lot of these are blind buys that I picked up from Blockbuster. Getting them real cheap right now. So that's silent but deadly. Serial Mom. Very fun movie. Has Matthew Lillard in it. Very funny. Definitely check this one out if you haven't seen this one. Serial Mom. Now I have All Hallows Eve. Very cool anthology film. I like the wraparound. It's a very cool movie. If you haven't seen this one, give it a watch. Now I have Hallows Eve starring Daniel Harris. Haven't seen this one yet as well. Look cool. Cheap at Blockbuster. And Daniel Harris, so can't go wrong. Hallows Eve. Frankenstein's Army. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Very cool movie. The monsters are fucking phenomenal. If you haven't seen this one, definitely check this out now, man. Go rent it on Netflix, whatever you gotta do. Definitely check this one out. Not in a living dead resurrection. Look cool. Cheap. Don't know much about it. Not in a living dead resurrection. Now I have Cockneys vs. Zombies. Screen Factory release. Haven't seen it yet. Cockneys vs. Zombies. Now I have Session 9. Found this at Big Lots for $3. Never heard of it. Look cool. Session 9. Now I have I Am Zozo. It was an okay film. Budget must have been small on this one. Could have been better. It was okay. I Am Zozo. Finally got Sand Sharks. Very fun movie. I really dig shark movies. Glad to have this in my collection now. Very fun. So that's Sand Sharks. Now I picked up Thaw. Haven't seen this one yet. The cover looks awesome. I've heard some pretty decent things about this movie. The artwork drew me in, so that's Thaw. Now I have Chronicle. I believe I picked this up during Black Friday. Don't know much about it. I think it's a found footage film, not for sure. So that's Chronicle. Now I have Men in Black 3. Not a horror movie. Pretty good installment in the Men in Black series. I actually dug this one. Pretty fun and entertaining. So that's Men in Black 3. And now on to the last individual DVD. It's The Bagman. This movie is god awful. Be expecting an Anger Beast reviewer on this one sometime this month. This movie, <laughs> this movie is goddamn fucking awful. Oh, but enough of that. Wait for the review. So that's it. And on to the box sets. Finally got the Friday the 13th complete collection. Got this for Christmas. Glad to finally have it in my collection. Now I have the subspecies Blu-ray collection volume one. Don't know why they made a volume one. I don't know why they couldn't just put four in the collection. Maybe add vampire journals to it or whatever. I'm just glad to have this. I'm a really big subspecies fan. Can't wait to sit down and have a subspecies marathon. Very cool vampire series. Now I have Devil Dolls, three DVD box set, with demonic toys, doll graveyard, ragdoll. I mainly picked this up for ragdoll, I don't have it. This is only $6 at Dollar General. So that's Devil Dolls, three DVD box set. And last up for the box sets, I have Poltergeist, The Legacy, season one. I remember watching these when they came out in the 90s. They were okay. Picked this up cheap at Dollar General, so that's Poltergeist, The Legacy. So that's it for my horror movie collection haul for the month of December. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep checking back for new videos. And as always, keep it horror.